Hello, it's Laura Kane After Dark. I'm Laura Kane. I am taking on B's role as producer, so they there will be mistakes. Are you sure about that? I'm actually positive about that. <laughs> this is Eric Rimmer. Hi. We do a podcast for over two years called Laura Kane After Dark, and we talk about everything from what we had for dinner last night to celebrity dirt to mental illness to uh sexy stuff everything oh what we have a guest coming on now i don't i don't remember if i have her on next week but it's something sexy oh and you you get to try it i do yes is it i'm not even gonna tell you it's a surprise i'm I'm not even going to give you a hint. Oh, man. But I was like, she wrote into the show. I'm like, oh, yeah, you're going to be on. This is going to be good. Oh, this is going to be sick. So, so sick. You know what else? What? Hold on. Watch this fun little video. Because guess what time it is. It's time to talk about Sammy. Sammy. Okay, so Sammy's is our sponsor, and we love Sammy's. Look, <clears throat> they're all over our backdrop. They're right there, like <laughs> right there too. Everywhere, right here. Sammy's has been in San Diego for as long as I can remember, and I've been here since 1986. You were born here. I was. Sammy's is a staple in mm-hmm. San Diego. Evan, do you like Sammy's? Of course. See, she loves Sammy. <laughs> it's so great because it's something we can totally agree on. You can get pizza. They're known for their wood-fired pizza. They are. They're also known for things like... Their chicken lettuce cups. Yes, those are awfully good. I sometimes get that as a meal. I do too. Because I I have a hard time doing appetizers because then I can't eat the whole meal I know. usually. Yeah, me too. But at Sammy's, I always get an appetizer and a full-on meal. Because I love the Brussels sprouts and then the chopped chicken salad. That's just, it's just a salad. Yes. So I God. know. I love their food. And I really want you to do to order the cotton candy dessert. Okay. It's hysterical when it comes. We should order it next time we go. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Let's when do it. are we going? We got to go before you go out of town. Okay. Okay. We'll plan mm-hmm. it like. Uh, you want to go Friday? Maybe. Well, okay. Yeah. I'm a very busy. I know. You have your calendar right there. You could check it later. I, I will. <laughs> go to Sammy'sPizza.com if you're not sure where Sammy's is close to you. The one I go to is in Mission Valley. Eric likes the one in Del Mar. I do. They say it's it's gotten kind of busy in Del Mar. You're welcome. <laughs> I know. And I like to think that it's because of you guys. Yes. I, you know what? I'm going to believe that. And thank you very much for doing that. And I forgot to say this on Tuesday. You should probably put my picture up somewhere in the restaurant. They have up both our pictures. Yeah. And then we'll sign it. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> you know how restaurants used mm-hmm. to do that? We forgot to tell people that if you tell them that Laura Kane After Dark or you heard it on Laura Kane After Dark, you get 20% off your entire meal. And that you don't have, it's no, there's no time zone, like time constraints. You can do no. it anytime, but they do have happy hour. And it's from three, three to, to six, six. <clears throat> every day. Every day, Sammy's is great. Sammy himself <laughs> is great. He's there's actually a Sammy's. There is, and he's very dapper. He he's is. a dapper guy, and um, everybody at that place is great. So, thank you for being our sponsor, and thank you for uh, being such a great restaurant to take kids to. And dates. thanks for having such good food. Thank you so much, and thanks for your messy Sunday. <clears throat> Yeah, oh my God. it's delicious. That sounds, I say this every time. I could use I one actually, of those right now. You know what? Is anybody from Sammy's listening that could just drop one by the house? We should look on one of the, um, like if it's Uber Eats yeah. or But it Postmates. would be all melted by the time. Who, who cares? I know they can't, they can't like bring the glass, the big, they can't like, they wouldn't let us have the big giant glass that it comes in. No, true. Um, But. You know, I'd be willing well, to do Well, I would that. return it. <laughs> no, you... <laughs> I'd forget. I would wash it and return it. I would forget. Thank you, Sammy. Is that sammyspizza.com. Okay. 
so now we have this new little thing. So hold on. I'm sorry, we're fancy. We really we're are. We're kind of a big deal. We kind of are. And I'm running the board right now. You, you're amazing. I got a massage yesterday, which I desperately needed because I felt like my <clears throat> shoulders were hanging from my earlobes. Just, and I was so, I wanted to crawl out of my own skin. I was so sore. It was so glorious. Like I was seeing colors. I was crying. At one point I was laughing. Like all these emotions came out. Mm -hmm. And today, I don't know if this is a, if this is a massage thing, but I've been like really bummed, like down, feeling like I don't want to go out of the house. I didn't put makeup on until I started you look really good that's really nice thank you i wanted to look good for our guest who's coming in here being shortly. depressed does wonders for you well, no, I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding that's I mean, terrible finally i picked up evan they went we went for a little walk and that f made me feel better but that's not really what my host chats about i just want to explain my situation oh i took a nap great i took a nap oh, for one hour <gasps> right before the show started oh and snaps Antonio comes in. He wasn't napping with me. He's just here picking up clothes. He goes, I woke up to my face on the phone. I'm, I'm like, why is my face on your, why are you videoing me right now? He goes, you were talking in your sleep so much. I brought Evan in to show her. Oh my God. What were you saying? I don't even know. Like I was just saying things like I was, I was definitely doing this a lot. This is a lot. I was going, oh, okay. Like things like that. Or Evan, do you remember anything I was saying? Uh, do you remember anything I was saying in my sleep? I, oh, I laughed maniacally. Oh my God. That is fantastic. I'm not a sleep talker. So what's that all about? I don't know. Evan says that I am. Oh, this is great. Can you imagine the things that might come out of my mouth? Oh my God. I'm sleeping over here. <laughs> Why do I do that? I don't know, but that's fantastic. Have you ever been a sleep talker? I don't know. Oh my God. Nobody's ever said anything to you? No. I guess I hold full on conversations. Maybe they're afraid to. Maybe they are. <laughs> so I'm just waking up. It's been one of those days, but I worked really hard on something today. I want you to pull up your phone. And I want you to go to our Instagram page, Laura Kane After Dark. That's what it's called. Is it? Is that what it's called? Yes, that's what it's called. Oh in gosh, case, you know, never know, somebody just happens upon this Laura podcast. Laura Kane After Dark. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you see our, like our little bio is there under yes. our picture? Do you see the blue link? It says campsite. Yes. Okay. Click on that. Yes. Okay. Those are all our links. And now read the links. Watch us on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Listen to our podcast. Yes. Let's help the Ukrainian people. Yes. Raffle for Ukraine. Uh-huh. Our Amazon influencer store. Uh-huh. Star 94 is Jesse Lozano's foundation, Instagram, okay. and Facebook. Yes. Yeah, so we have Jesse's link on there like yes. we said we would. It's um, one more win. But I worked on our Amazon store. Oh, she has been working hard on this, y'all. It was hard for me to figure out, but I have to tell you that it was actually hard to get a store because we're considered influencers. We got in before uh, it got big. Mm -hmm. I, I thought that we had lost the store, so I tried to reapply. We got denied because we didn't have an, enough followers or whatever, but I, but I, I was like, I called them and said, no, we had a store. We really were. We want to sell stuff for you. So they reinstated it. Oh, thank God. I know we make like a tiny, teeny, tiny bit of money from the products that we post up there. But I have all, can you open up the store? I want to show you what I did. Oh, yeah. So there's all these different like little categories, like things Laura just bought. Oh, yes. Things Eric swears by. Mm -hmm. Some of our uh, past beauty bin products that maybe you thought, what was that called again? It's on our Amazon store. Oh, yeah. The link is right there it, uh, under the campsite uh, dot 
Laura Kane After Dark. You'll see it. It's it's in our bio on Facebook too. Oh my God. That Sol de Janeiro is so good. The body bum. Oh, the bum bum cream? Yeah, the bum bum cream. I I used it all over my body. And on, I, it was I the first too. time I ever put lotion on my butt, but it felt really good. The bum I, bum I cream. I put lotion on my butt all the time. You do? And on my... Wiener? <laughs> do you lotion your wiener? You got to keep everything hydrated. I, well, does it get dry? N- no. I really... I never thought about that. Yeah, you got to keep everything. And balls? Yeah. <laughs> And paint. Oh my god! All up in there. You got that whole thing moisturized. I, I yes. So just go to our link campsite link that's on our bio and shop our Amazon store because anything we've ever talked about is probably from Amazon. And if you are wondering, oh my gosh, it's probably on the store. Click it. All you have to do is click it, put it in your cart, yep. and you're done. So that's Super what easy. I've been working on. I was on the phone with Amazon on Friday for an hour and a half. You were? Solid. Working with three different people. Uh, And I have to say that at the very end, they came through like a champ. I love them. They they really were cool. Good. They better be. Yeah. They better be nice to my baby. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, wait. Now I have to do this. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Waiting with bated breath. Here we go. Back to the show. Okay. What's up? What's your host, Chad? Oh, my God. Okay. So, Amy Schumer hosted the Oscars. She was one of the hosts. Yes. She's coming to San Diego later this year. Do you like her? I do. I like Amy Schumer. I like Wanda Sykes. I love... I like Who, my, was Amy Poehler too? Was no, it was uh, Amy Schumer, Wanda Sykes, and Regina Hall. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so Amy Schumer's new stand-up act is going out on the road. It's called the Whore Tour. <laughs> okay. And I was ready to buy the tickets. Oh, really? Okay. Huh? Do you know where she's coming Humphreys here? Humphreys. Oh. By the Bay. Until I saw what the ticket prices were. Is it just because of inflation or is this? I don't know. Somebody told me that she doesn't set the ticket prices. Oh, yeah. They, they, they better come down. Okay. How much was, how much were the cheap seats? The cheap? Yeah. 347 Per ticket? Per ticket. Do you want to? going to do that? Do you want to hear what the, the, this is Humphreys. Okay. Now, the top, does that include like a meet and greet and whatnot? Nope. Oh, my God. Just under $1,000. Wow. 987 or something like that. No, she's a big enough star, but is she that big of a star? No. I have seen her in larger venues for far, far less. Wow. So what happened? Did you pr- push the button to buy the tickets? Hell no. <laughs> are you hoping they go down? Listen, or are you, what I'll, are you hoping for? I'll borrow someone's canoe and sit out on the water freezing my ass off before I <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, to watch the... Um, Hell from no. From the boat. Um, okay, what were you guys discussing? Are you done with your host chat? Is that well, what no, you're I about? have oh, one other thing. Oh, okay, I want to know. We went and saw the Batman. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I love Rob Pattinson. Oh my God. Anyway, what? I can say my whole review in one thing. One word or one sentence? One. Phrase? Yeah. Okay. I'll probably really like it. That means that I'm going to like it. It it's a lot of backstory, was right? Stupid. No. Yep. It got great reviews. It was. Didn't it? He just played his Twilight Twilight character all over again. But isn't he all buffed out now? And he's no. cute. And no. Doesn't he make a okay? Who's no. who's your favorite Batman then? Uh, I liked um, Ben Affleck, and I liked the one that was in the Dark Knight. Whoever that was, Christian Bale. Oh, I forgot about yeah. him. I thought he was great. But I heard this was the best Batman because no. it gives a lot of like, First his, of all, first of all, story. you will never make it through. It is 3 hours long. What? I don't and have time for that. E- right. And every single time I thought the movie was going to end, 
it kept going. So we went to, well, I'm not going to say the theater. Why? Well, tickets were expensive. Um, and both of our butts fell asleep during the movie because it was so long and... You hadn't gotten up to get like snacks or no, anything. Or, or take a nap. <laughs> I, I was too uncomfortable to even nap. Yeah. Hi. Oh, our guest is Oh my God, well, I'm so wait, excited. we're going to okay, bring her in so properly. That was it. Okay. That's my host chat. Okay. Um, have a seat and then we're going to bring you in properly. Yeah, we're going to do the proper. Yeah, we're going to try to be fancy and professional. Because we're really fancy. Yes. So do you want to bring her on and ta- talk about the Oscars? Like you were saying, there's new stuff that's coming out. You and Evan were talking about it. Yes. Um, do you want me to do my... Do your little mini uh, double D. Okay. Yeah. I'll do my mini double D. Yes. Yes, we're going to bring her in in a minute. Yes. Do you want me to do my double D? Yes, now? I would love to hear do what's I, going do on. Do I have a thing or no? Um, do you? Do I? Yes, you do. Oh, Ready? I thought I did. You fancy lady. <laughs> Get ready. Get the Oscars all over I'm again. I'm going to jiggle them for you. Okay. So, did you hear about Nick Lachey and Vanessa Lachey? So, you know they host that. Uh, Love is Blind. Yeah, on Netflix. Yes. So, they were out to dinner the other night at Mastro's in Beverly Hills and they saw a photographer taking pictures of them, female photographer from her car. So he reached into the car and tried to get, grab the camera from her and they had an altercation. So she said, the photographer said she allegedly smelled alcohol in his breath. And oh. then he was like flipping her off and she got pictures of him doing that. So God, Well, I mean, these Hollywood people, they need to keep it together. I've been to Mastro's. It's I have too. so we you came. We, we yeah. went together. Yes, we did. Oh my god, that was not that a great restaurant? It was. I'm oh. all about that butter cake. Oh my god, let me tell god, you, butter cake. I would sell somebody. Yeah, you sell somebody's soul for yeah, that butter. For cake. that butter cake, it was delicious. Supermodel Naomi Campbell adopted a baby. She's a mom now. How old is she? And I think in her fifties. Yeah. She is beautiful. A little baby or yeah. a child? No, a little baby. Oh. If it, yeah. From uh, here, from, from I, it, it didn't say where. Oh, okay. It was well, very kind of congratulations. Congratulations, Naomi Campbell. Um, Taylor Hawkins from the Foo Fighters died at fifty when that they were on tour in Colombia just yesterday. For, yeah, for, yeah. For so many people, mm-hmm. he was like, I guess. I mean, I didn't know him obviously, but he, people were saying, "God, he was such a great guy to yeah. be around." I know. What do they find in his system? They well, they found in his room allegedly what came out was they found multiple drugs like pot, antidepressants, opioids, and heroin. Oh, no so I'm hoping crap. that's just not true. Well, I mean that's a rough life, you know, being a musician and yeah, stuff like that. That's, and I so. thought he was clean, but you know what? I don't know. We don't know. I know. We haven't seen the report, but that's what no. it, the reports are right now. Yes. All right. Good grief. What? Alec Baldwin and his wife, Hilaria, are having another baby. When is he going to put it away? Seven kids with her. Come Just on. with her. Come on. They're going to end up getting a divorce. You know that, right? I mean. He, he's got. What is he thinking? He's <laughs> This baby. He's, old, he's older how, than I am. How old is he going to be when that baby tr- is ready to graduate from high school? Dead. Dead. <laughs> I know, totally. What the hell? Yeah. I don't know. So, remember Hayden Panettiere? Yeah, she was on that show Heroes. Heroes, for a while. and then she was on Nashville, which I really yeah. like. Yeah. So, her and her on again, off again boyfriend were at the Chateau Marmont the other night, and she tried to break up a fight. Y'all need to go and look at that video on YouTube. What do you. Uh, it's in. Same. Does she get involved in the fight? Oh yeah. Oh my god. It's cr- it's crazy. So you just look up, well, H- Hayden. Just you just have to put on Hayden Chateau Marmont, right? B- fight. Pretty much. Yeah. Oh my god. And it'll come up. Oh boy. It's crazy. Is there hair pulling and stuff? Oh, kicking. She literally 
some girl jumps on her back because she's her boyfriend was getting in a fight and she was trying to. Is that that help. big guy from somewhere else? Like a, uh, he's a um, he. He's I don't a fighter know. Or I don't something? know if he's an actor. Um, his name is Brian Hickerson. Oh, that's a new guy. Then that's not her old guy. So yeah, but um, yeah, it was. Uh, I think they were. I'm sorry. I th- think I said the Chateau Marmont, but it's the Sunset Marquee. Oh, okay. Sorry, but um, yeah, it was sick. She, at one point, there's a. She's tiny. She's uh-huh. like five one. Yeah. This girl jumps on her back while she's on the ground and she bucks her off <laughs> like somebody <laughs> riding a wow. wild bull. It was crazy. She didn't expect to, that to happen that night. Uh-uh. And then what's up with the Will Smith thing? So they're not revoking his Oscar. Okay. Because he had already worked for it. And the, I guess the investigation's still going on. So has Chris Rock come out with anything? He has not said anything, but he has new tour dates. So let me just tell you, those tour dates are probably going to be sold out within minutes. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. And And every, you know, that Jada has that show called like the Red Table or something. uh You know, everybody's going to be trying to get on that. I'm going to try and get us on that. So Will did a good thing. No, he didn't do a good thing. I know, but like, look. He was a bad boy. He was Well, yeah, it wasn't a very nice thing to do. No. Not nice. Play nice in the sandbox, kids. Okay. Do we have like a phone? Do we have? I'm oh, yes. So here we go. Now, I want you to do like the full introduction, but let me put on our fun little thing first. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yes. Special guest. We've had her on the show before. Uh huh. We love her. She, she was a big hit. We got a lot of DMs, comments about her. We did. And we had people that, listeners, that had your CDs. I know. Wait, hold on. Which was crazy. Oh, like, they have Jesse Lozano's. Um, hold on. Oops. Let me, that was from Tuesday. Hold on one second. Let me just take that off. Take that off. There we go. Um, okay. Let's go get her. Let me, t- let me go to break. This is what B tells me to do. Okay. And come back. Okay, it's just. Hi, Sharon. Um, how are you? Great. Okay. Do you like our new? This is a. Welcome to my kitchen. Wow, your voice sounds great. Yeah. Can you pull the mic closer to your mouth, and then there we go. Yeah, that's better. So, Eric, give the proper introduction and tell us like how you guys first met and everything. So, I have to say, you're probably one of the coolest people I have ever met. Really? I went with Dave to see Air Supply. And we were just kind of walking around and taking things in and everything. And Cherry and Sister Speak were the opening act Mm -hmm. for Air Supply. And I literally stopped and I was like, who is this? Her voice is sick. And so we got our seats and we uh, sat down and I was just like, oh my God, this girl has to be on the show. So I, during the concert messaged her on facebook and she probably saw that and was like by the, there's a guy on the phone and i'm trying to sing this song by the end of the evening she had responded oh my and god she was like, i'd love to and i was like oh awesome amazing yeah we really we had you on probably um six eight months ago is that right like feels like that i think it was des- during our december tour yeah it was i think it was december yeah yeah. Um, okay, so Sherry Ann, talk about what you've been up to since then. How, how, you know, where have you been? Yeah, well, um, first of all, we have this album coming out, Love for All. This is the first copy. Oh, right sweet. Yeah, so that's the album right there. Um, you know, I went home for Christmas and was working on the album promotion in January, and our apartment actually went up in uh, – Flames, the suite next to us. So the last two months have been spent hotel and sublet hopping. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Did, you, did what? you lose everything? Or? Uh, 
Luckily, we didn't, but our neighbors did. Oh, my um, God. But we, everybody made it out safe, like, barely. Oh, thank God. And so, uh, yeah, it's been intense. And um, we had a lot of smoke damage, so most of our stuff is gone. But oh. our guitars were okay. Oh, God. Do, you, do they know what happened? Did they figure it out? Apparently, there was a, a couch too close to a heater, and it was, like, an electro, old, old electrical heater, or it was a faulty outlet. Oh, my God. You just never know. Yeah, three stories in flames. The one right next to us. And we were just like outside and the fire trucks made it just in time. Oh, my God. Okay, so what did you grab right away? Anything? What yeah. came to your mind first? Okay, so I got up at 7 a.m. I looked out the window. There was a 10-foot flame in the balcony next to us. And so I just said, I heard the landlord yell. I didn't know it was him, but he yelled, fire, fire, fire. And then the first thing we grabbed, um, we just ran out, my spouse and I, like, I just grabbed my jacket and my purse that was hanging right at the door. And then oh uh, we didn't God. even have shoes on. We just oh. sprinted outside and we didn't grab anything else. Like, oh, my God. We didn't have anything like our phones. Like nobody even knew anything about it. Until oh, my God. You forgot your phone. <laughs> and, like, we were just like, we need to get out. There was already this huge flame. And then the fire alarm were just like yelling at our neighbors. Get out. Get out. It was so intense. That like, is oh, crazy. my God. Is it a yeah. large complex or is it kind of small? It was 40 units. And the landlord ended up going back in and banging on everybody's door. And, the, and one, one guy was in the shower. <gasps> but everybody made it out. And nobody oh got hurt. Oh, my God. Thank God. 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 And the fire trucks are in between shifts, so we ended up having double firefighters, and they caught it right before it hit the roof. Otherwise, the whole thing would have... Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, it was like miracles. How did you like living in a hotel? Oh, you know, <laughs> I actually... I'm totally fine living in a hotel. There's a kitchen. Um, it's just moving out. Like, we, I've moved out in and out six times in two months. Like, uh -huh. it's just like... Uh, I'm over that. No. I lived in a hotel for four months, uh of last year because we had uh, mold and oh. water damage and it was so fun yeah it's oh my god it was so fun because you get your room cleaned yeah. and you know it was downtown it was so great and the kitchen was super fun and you're right though then we had to move out of the hotel yeah. like, oh, how much how do we accumulate all this crap <laughs> it's yeah. crazy oh my gosh so Will you sing a song off your new album for us? Sure. Which one is your favorite? Um, I don't know if I have a favorite. Uh, Did you write all these? Did you write? Yeah. Uh, there's one song that we collaborated with a local hip-hop artist, The Brothers Burns. Ooh. Sister Speak and The Brothers Burns. Oh, Love that's it. cool. Yeah. They're awesome. And they're going to join us. We have a couple album release parties. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is like the genre we have like it's kind of like an indie folk world blues mix so like what genre are you feeling tonight whatever you think is gonna be awesome because we everybody that listens is pretty i need something that will make me feel good all right all right Okay. I need a little pick me up. How about that? Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay. I Can love it. Okay, yeah, I get your guitar. <laughs> Sister Speak, <laughs> Love for All is the CD. Let me see the CD. I love CD art still. It's so cool. Oh, Steve Schmiller. It's a little boy that's stirring like a big pot of porridge or something. It's a, it's a really cute. Okay, my dog, I may I stick him in the bathroom. <laughs> He just loves attention, that little one. Gonna throw him outside right now. Throw him outside. Should I? Elvis, stop being annoying. No, you, the camera's out there. Oh, Remember? there it is. Yes. Can people get the CD right now anywhere? Or? April 1st. April 1st, that's right. And yeah. then you're going to have parties and stuff to release yeah, it. Yeah, April 1st and 2nd. Okay, awesome. we need to get that closer to yeah. you. Let me get, hold on, let me move this. Thanks for having me again. Oh, anytime. Uh oh, like I said, lots of response after you were on. Wow. People were sending us pictures of your CD really? that they had. Yeah, yeah it was wow. awesome. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. Um, okay, so um, I will, I'll try to mix. So there's there's a uh, for the pick me ups. Is it like we want to like dance or like do we want to like Confess how much we're in love with somebody. Ooh, that's a good one. Can we do both of them? Yeah. Okay, oh, good. Because I was thinking the dance one. Because who, I'm, who am I going to say that to? 
me. Okay. I guess I can see it too. (laughs) (laughs) It's just not the same. (laughs) You're like my friend. Of course, I love you. Somebody wants to set me up with some dude at the end of April. Well? I just... At the end of April, I'll probably be ready for that. After... Is after Elvis going to sing the chorus? I, I'm going to stick him in the bathroom. I'm not even kidding. Um, <laughs> so at the end of April, they want to like have this party and for us to organically meet. And I saw they sent a picture of him with his son. And I, uh-huh. I was like, his son is so hot. I'm like, okay, that's not a good Oh, my sign. God. This is already a bad sign. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh. The, uh, the camera just fell. Let's go. It's a hotel party right now. It's a hotel totally party. is. Here we go. Is that, did I indulge them? Um, where are you? Uh, move it to Tell me. your no other way. Perfect, perfect, okay. yeah, perfect. So we've got, there's the other one is the song for peace. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. I think maybe, and it is, it does have like a, take me out. Okay. Okay. Let's do the that's peace perfect. one. Okay. I need peace. We want, we want the peace one and the dance one or the fall, badly falling in love? He wants the falling in love one. Okay, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How's it like this? The volume okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. This is called Estuary. I'm originally from British Columbia and we have a lot of estuaries up there um, without crocodiles. <laughs> oh my god, okay. And Elvis is here too. Awesome. You're in my head in the night. You're at the edge of my mind. You don't want to lose you 3,000 miles apart Yet when you're here it's too far I want you Don't want to miss you Our lips they touch with a kiss No one has held me like this I want you I know this feeling to be true I know this feeling to be true To be true, I know. 
You know it's good when a 17-year-old girl actually gets up from doing her homework to <laughs> fill, to record it for something. Oh, my God. She was dancing around. It was so good. Oh, my God. Your voice is it's awesome. Amazing. Is that for somebody in particular? Yeah, that's a secret, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we put two and two together? I mean, like... Is it obvious who it's about? I mean, the person you love? Yeah. Okay. Well, good. <laughs> no, just kidding. And um, t- when you write a song, do you have, like, the lyrics first? Or do you have a, a nugget of a, of a riff or something? Or is it both? Yes. Usually there is um, a melody that kind of gets stuck in my head, maybe, like, part of a lyric. And then um, I'll start writing down lyrics and chords at the same time it's kind of all like a together kind of thing i don't usually write a full one sometimes i'll even write something chords and lyrics at the same time and then another piece and then they'll end up forming the same song oh wow yeah and i wouldn't have even thought that they were together but then they kind of meet yeah <laughs> and then <laughs> how do you ever get writer's block or, or you just can't figure out how to like for the bridge or how to end the song or yeah, some song like one song, Chicago Dream from my first album was written in like thirty minutes, and other songs, like that song, um, was written over the span. Like I just wrote part of it, and then the rest of it was actually finished in studio. The, the, the final. Oh wow! Was. Yeah, actually, while my spouse was on a plane, <laughs> <laughs> we were about to reunite for the first time in four months. Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah. And that's when I actually sang this song on the album. Oh, like that's added, awesome. Uh, change the lyrics just slightly. <laughs> that's amazing. See, that takes a gift because I couldn't do that if my life depended on it. Oh, my God. We tried. We had to try to write a song. Like, I was on a morning show for a while back in the day, and that was a contest. We each had to try to write a song, and it was so hard. I mean, I have no n- real knowledge, but, I mean, where do you even start? I guess with a line or an idea? Time. Sound. Well, that's the thing people don't. I think sometimes realize, like with music, like I can't have a pack schedule like twelve months out of the year because for songs to come like inspiration, it, like there has to be time. I think that's like one of the most important things and like creative time. So like no matter how busy I am, if an idea comes, I have to be able to just like go to a room and like work on a song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even if the neighbor can hear me, like one time a neighbor, when I was working on a song, I played it 30 times. It's actually on here. It's called We Are One. And she actually learned the entire song while I was. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it was over words. and over and over again. Now, you, <laughs> you probably get asked this a lot, but who were your mu- musical influences growing up? You know, there were a, a lot. Um, a couple of uh, Nirvana, for sure. Mm-hmm. Nina Simone, for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Have you seen that documentary? Oh, I want to watch it tonight. It's so it's called What Whatever Happened to You, Nina Simone. Oh, wow, I haven't it's seen it. It's so good. Because you know she just kind of vanished. It, wow, it, it's I, really, really good. Yeah, I would love to see that. Yeah. Well, those are two like totally different music mm-hmm. genres. Yeah. Um, there's I mean, there's a lot. Like I love Xavier Rudd from Australia, um, Mike Love, Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it depends what mood. Nothing but thieves in terms of like. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I actually yeah. saw them at the will turn, and I uh, was working massage that day. I my friend, I, that's my other job. 
You're a masseuse too? Yeah, yeah. Went to school and everything? Yeah, I did a school and everything. Oh my gosh. I was working at the Wilton and they were all there. They were so sweet. And, uh, wow. Yeah, it was. And so I, I, I fell in love with the song Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I said yeah. it like a Canadian, didn't I? I just got back from Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very light. It's Canada light. <laughs> That's so cool how you like pick up what things. Well, no, you're from there. So yeah. I was going to say like when you're in different parts of the world, you pick up little things here and there. If you're there for a while, you probably do. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So when are you coming back to San Diego to perform again? Do you okay. know your schedule? Yes. Yeah, so Saturday, April 2nd, we are throwing a big party outside. It's at a private uh, residence, and uh, but it is open. If you hear the message here, there are still about like 15 tickets left. So uh, send us a message, goodies at sisterspeakmusic.com. Or check out our website. There's a link to... Mm-hmm. We'll Bottom put a link on our yeah. link tree too. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. And, yeah, and you're obviously invited. You just let me know. Fun, fun. Uh, August 2nd at 5 o'clock, it's the whole thing starts. And we're going to have the full band outside. It's oh going to be my God. Blast. Playing the whole album front to back. Oh, excellent. What time does it go till? It goes till about 9-ish. Oh, okay. So Grandpa can make it. Grandpa can make it. Yes. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the next song we're hearing? So this is one about peace, right? Yes, Okay. Song for peace. Um, this is the title track, Love for All. And it was written while on tour in Germany, Liebe für alle in German. And we have it written on the actual album art on the back. Um, thank you, Steve Schmiller, by the way. This is phenomenal. It's artistry. really cool. Yeah. Androgynous being stirring the pot towards change. Um, so this uh, is written in 11 languages. As you can see. Oh, yeah. I was noticing that on the yeah. back. Very yeah. clever. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's do it. This is awesome. Uh, so excited. Definitely time where there could be more peace in the mm-hmm. world. Mm-hmm. Uh, send prayers out for that. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah. There it goes. Yay. <laughs> Love for all. That's for sure. Yeah. Maybe when the rain falls Maybe when the sun comes out, there will be peace in our hearts. What are we fighting for? Maybe when the rain falls, maybe when the sun comes out, there will be peace in our hearts. What are we fighting for? Waking up, walking out to the sound of the sirens on the ground. There is pavement all around Far away in the distance Through the clouds Mother Earth is calling out There's a war upon her now And maybe when the rain falls Maybe when the sun comes out There will be peace in our hearts What are we fighting for? To decide what happens to her We have taken what's not ours We've taken land, taken dreams Made blue rivers turn to gray And there's a war upon her now Maybe when the rain falls Maybe when the sun comes out There will be peace in our hearts What are we fighting for? And maybe when the rain falls Maybe when the sun comes out There will be peace in our hearts What are we fighting for? One day when the rain falls down It will wash away the pain And when the sun shines out it will brighten up the day we'll find the water turning blue maybe when the rain falls maybe when the sun comes out 
There will be peace in our hearts. What are we fighting for? Maybe when the rain it falls. Maybe when the sun comes out. There will be love for all. What are we waiting for? Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah. That was awesome. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. Dang, that was that was awesome. That should be a theme song to like a a news compilation of images. Ah. Yeah. yeah. From the Ukraine. You know what I mean? Like that seems like it would be a perfect pairing. Mhm. It's so good. Yeah. Gosh, Fantastic. Sherry Ann, Sister Speak. Uh okay, what do you want to plug? Tell us where you're going to be. I know April 2nd we'll put the link on our in our bio. Awesome. On the campsite link, you'll see it. But is there anything else you'd like to plug? Yeah, we'll be playing at the Hotel Cafe with a full band April 1st. That's the day the album comes out on all platforms. Uh that song Love for All and the uh another single Runaway are already out uh right now. And you can check those out. And yeah, if anybody wants to join our Patreon, that's actually how we got the whole album done. Pat- oh, yeah. okay. That's uh, patreon.com slash sisterspeak. And some people were able to join from the moment the first song was uh, completed all the way through to the oh, end. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Yeah, so it was cool. Like, just encourage, Some people were encouraging uh, certain songs to be on the album and things. So it was really fun. Oh, we'll that. put that on there too. D- is that something that you do? Because I just heard about this with... I forget who the singer was, but she went off of what her fans, she had like listening parties with her fans and they encouraged her to take like a song off and put a different song on. And so is that kind of the, with the patrons where they sing, we really love this song. We think you should put it on the album or. Yeah. I kind of just like, Hey, what do you think? And yeah, I mean, I, some people would just encourage certain songs. Yeah, on that's album. awesome. It was helpful, yeah. Well, you know, and I really think that that's how things are going now. You know, I really respect an artist that listens to their fans versus just, you know, doing, I'm just going to put this out and who cares? You know, it does say a lot, mm-hmm. you know, when you have that connection with your fans, like, I it's know all about this connections. Is what, yeah. yeah, that's like why we do it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Absolutely. I just, I forgot to ask, like, how are you? It's been like months. Good. <laughs> yeah, no, we're good. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I won't get into it. We've, I've had a couple uh, bumps in the road lately, but it's all good. You know, it's all about setting boundaries, yeah. which I'm not good at doing, yeah. sticking to them. And just being grateful about everything. I like that. Living in a state of gratefulness has helped a lot. And sleep. Sleep is so amazing. Magic drug. It really is. Best drug ever. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And meals. I, was, I got a massage the other day, and I was like, you, how do you stay so healthy? And the massage therapist was like, I have three meals a day, I get enough sleep, and I take... This, this, and this supplement. <laughs> yeah. It's just about discipline. Yeah. Yeah. But why do we sabotage ourselves? I don't know. I know. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's stupid. Why am I doing now, this? Now, can you take naps during the day? Yeah. You know where I, I, I can't nap while I'm driving. Well, <laughs> I mean, so obviously, I mean, well, I'm the passenger. Thank God you're not doing that. <laughs> I'm, or I'm not the passenger, I meant. But I can sleep as soon as the plane takes off. Oh, oh, gosh. you're out. Can you really? I just, just like, it's like. I oh go. my god, I'm so envious of you. <laughs> if it could be a 50 hour flight, and I would not be able to sleep. Oh, that's oh. brutal. You'd have to, you'd have to knock me out with a, a sleeping pill. Really? And then I probably would still wake up. Oh, my are you gosh. nervous, flyer? No, I'm not at all. But I just can't sleep with that many people around me. Oh, I'm always afraid, like I'll fart or talk in my sleep or do something horrible. <laughs> you do that so awake, and it's okay. I do it awake. Yeah. <laughs> why should Why should being asleep be any different? Or the yeah. long jaw? You wake up on someone's shoulder. Like, oh, for sure. I know. Drooling. Dry drool. Because <laughs> I think I do drool when I sleep. 
I'm not oh. sure. Oh, yeah. I know you have the perfect image of me that I would never do a something like that, but I think it probably happens. He wears his high school retainer still. Wow. And he wears a mouth guard so he doesn't grind his teeth uh-huh. over the retainer. Let me tell you, every it's single the night. sexiest look you'd ever want. I, yeah. I mean, who wouldn't be turned on by You're that? You're probably a mouth breather <laughs> at night probably. with all that in. Mm-hmm. And so. <laughs> yeah. I have stuff. I have stuff putting on under my eyes oh, and yeah, stuff got, like, so that, yeah. <laughs> overnight mask on. <laughs> it does sound like a lot of work for yeah. a, sleep a, on the plane. It's a, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> Thank you with, so much. With minimal for, oh, results. Yes. <laughs> I just appreciate you coming in. Um, you have such a busy schedule and it was just really cool of you to come again because like I said, we got such good response. Bring her back, please. Aww. Yes. Well, thank you, And everybody. please plug your event on the 2nd. One more time. One more, One time. more time. Okay, yeah. San Diego, Saturday, April 2nd. We're throwing a party. It's going to be like a festival outdoors. Uh, sisterspeakmusic.com slash tour is where you can find all the info on how to reserve your spot. It's going to be super fun with the band. How are the guys? Oh, man. We just rehearsed last night. It was so fun. Oh, good. The band is doing great. Awesome. I, you all get along and everything. Yeah, I couldn't be happier. Like they are all such amazing. They look people. like a fun group of guys. Did you see the photo we yeah. put out today? Like, yeah, it looks awesome. <laughs> it's so fun. I actually uh, took a shot of it so that we can put it on for the show. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. It's always like a epic reunion. Whenever it's just a rehearsal. I'm so happy to see them. Yeah. Yeah, chemistry. <laughs> now, do, do they all live in LA? Yeah. So um, mostly, um, my bassist lives in San Diego, um, and then the other, my other band members are in Long Beach and Silver Lake. Oh, okay. Um, and it's produced by st- my drummer, Stephen Hacker, and Stephen Haker. How, after all these years, how did I, <laughs> how did I just do that? <laughs> <laughs> and Brett Grossman, he's playing a bass with us. Oh, awesome. Shows, and he also co-produced it. Oh, very cool. He mixed it, and we had a, an amazing engineer in Vancouver, uh, Elisa, and she is... Uh, she mastered it. So oh, she put the finishing touches. Well, if you haven't seen Sherry Ann and Sister Speak live, go see them. I've seen them live; they're fantastic. <laughs> go so. to that party. We'll put a link on, yeah. and um, it was great hearing you and your it was voice. Great is like seeing you, perfect. And you. Yes, yes. Thank you. Beautiful as always. Do you remember our little catchphrase that we say at the end of the show? You probably don't, but you, it's okay. Love we, your podcast. Oh, oh my <laughs> god! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> she remembers it. And she was on the show once I before, know. and I barely remember it. And I, I do know. it twice a week. Okay, I do it first, then you do it, and then hopefully Eric will do it. Usually he drags it out, and it really annoys me. <laughs> That's why I do it. Is this the, is this the end of it? Yeah, oh, unless wow. you want to play one more song. Can you? I mean, I could, yeah. All right, let's play something. Play the dance one. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, this is the one that was written in my first of five quarantines. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. And it was like, and we were dancing in our quarantine. So it was like, it's fun, though. You had a fun quarantine. Try to keep your top on. Oh, I was trying. <laughs> oh, that's hard. something that's changed since you last saw Laura. Oh, I got boobs. Oh, I didn't have boobs when I No. Yeah, I got a boob job. I know. <laughs> You're like, why? She said, I'm very open about everything. Don't worry. <laughs> Everybody knows it's not, not a secret. <laughs> You're like, why would he do that to her? Oh my god! What a jerk! I just, I just wanted to make sure because you've been very busy. You might not have known. Oh my god! Thanks, I, I, you know, I did have secret access to your calendar, and I did check it a couple times. Uh huh. I, I hijacked your phone. When I yeah. Was just, just, just kidding. Just kidding. Put a little tracker on it, and I saw oh. where you went. Like. That's- I'm pretty boring. I live a pretty boring life. Except you for- no, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Let's, I'm excited to hear okay, this one. Okay, dance to the rhythm. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so this is, uh, yeah, there it goes. This is like trying to figure mm-hmm. out where are we going to go. Um, we're in California on tour. We stay here, go to BC. We have a pandemic. Whoa. So here it goes. And made the album. Hoping I don't let you down Can I take you home now? 
hoping that you stay with me But I can control destiny Told us we should pack our bags We might only have a day Said that it would be alright Maybe we could take our time I like the way you move The way you step one, two A little closer now Until the lights go down Oh, I want no one night stand You could take my hand Oh, we can play this out Until the lights go down The situation took control Had to make it for the border closed Had to leave the life behind Hoping you might still be mine And drove straight through the Terrified. I like the way you move, the way you step one, two, a little closer now until the lights go down. Oh, I want no one night stand. You could take my hand, oh, we can play this out until the lights go down. Travel the world with you Travel the ocean blue Cause all our fears melt away To the rhythm now Fly away, fly away yeah. I like the way you move The way you step one, two A little closer now until the lights go down Oh, I want no one night stand You could take my hand Oh, we can play this out Until the lights go down Ooh, ooh. Dance to the rhythm now ooh, ooh. Dance to the rhythm now Oh, yeah, Sherry Ann. That was Sister awesome. Speak. Woo! Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you. Thank you, Gracias. Always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Love your podcast. Love your podcast. I'm not going to annoy anyone tonight. Love your podcast. Oh my gosh! I love you, my sweet babies. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you, Sherry Ann. L Y P. Ha <laughs> <laughs>